Happy New Year! My work to me on New Year's Eve. Immediately after those videos were taken, we went out and got very, very drunk. I got more drunk than I'd ever been in my life. I don't have anything particular to talk about today, but I picked up a public holiday shift, so I have to film this video fast. It's good to hear you had a good New Year's Eve. I got very drunk, then went to work a tiny bit hungover. And then played a lot of Risk. My workmates and I have been completely obsessed with Risk lately. We've been playing more Risk than is probably healthy. And last night, my nightmare revolved around Risk. A little bit too much Risk. So, um, what can I talk about? For Christmas, I brought my housemate, The Venture Brothers. Because, you know, it's a great show and I thought he'd get into it. And I'm not sure if he is or not. I came home yesterday and he's up to season two. I was like, wow, you're up to season two already? And he said, no, 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 I just, I got sick of season one and I thought maybe I'll see if it was something different. And I was like, you're allowed not to like it. It's okay if you don't like it. And he said, I don't really like it. But then while I was in the room, he finished season one, started watching season two. And continued watching for about an hour and a half after I went to bed. Which would suggest to me he's enjoying it. So I don't really know what to think there. I'm enjoying it though, I think it's a great show as you know. Maybe I'm just incorrect in thinking there's a correlation between enjoying something and continuing to watch it. Like when I was reading through the Kylie Chan novels, I wasn't really enjoying them, but I couldn't put them down. I just remembered, you were in my dream last night. Whenever I dream about you, I dream that we're not allowed to talk when we meet in real life. Like for months before I came up to Brisbane for your surprise party, I kept dreaming that we'd met on trains and buses and planes. And we'd be sitting next to each other and we'd be like, oh no, we can't talk to each other. And so we'd just be sitting there in awkward silence for the whole trip. Last night, I dreamt I was up in Brisbane and I was buying ice cream with our ex-girlfriend Vicky. And we both looked over and you were there. And you and I had this kind of unspoken which meant, oh crap, you're here, but I can't talk to you because we're cousins apart. And so you just wandered off and I hung out with Vicky. I also dreamed that a woman I was hitting on turned out to be my mum's best friend. And my mum rocked up to the bar in a dressing gown. It was a weird night of dreams. Anyway, that surely must be two minutes by now, so I'm gonna go. Hopefully I won't be late for work. Gav, I'd love to hear any weird dreams you've had lately. Also, an old Cousins Apart video came up on my playlist the other day, and I clicked through, and it turns out I challenged you to play a harmonica. So, unless you want a punishment, Gav, you'd better fulfill that challenge. That's all for me. Gav, I'll see you tomorrow.